Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Yes, I know it's been a while, and I can't believe that everybody hasn't unsubscribed in droves, and I apologize. It's been a super fucked up and a really good month all wrapped up in this fucking weird ball. But I come to you in need of help. You guys know, as a general rule, I don't do anything personal on YouTube. Now, yes, my kids are on here and stuff, but, you know, I don't take real shots at anybody or whatnot. And today will be no different. It's not going to be a trash video. Sort of. It'll be kind of up to you to make your own judgment. And my hand has been forced in this. Okay? As you guys know, I am divorced and I have three kids. I recently started dating a young woman and this has turned out to be a problem with the kids and my ex-wife. Now, according to my ex, it's not because I'm actually dating anybody. It's because I won't tell her where the girl I'm seeing works. And this has been a huge problem. For example, yesterday, I was going to take them to the park to feed the ducks and crap like that, which they enjoy. And my ex happened to call me when I was at Walmart, and I didn't lie to her. I told her where I was going and what I was doing. And she met me over there and took my kids from me. Brooklyn, crying her eyes out, hiding under the playground like it's going to help her any, like her mom is not going to see her and come get her any fucking way. The whole time, you know, spewing at me, you tell me where that bitch fucking works, and we don't have this fucking problem. That's real great. Way to go, mommy. Right? But the reason I'm reaching out to uh, YouTube land is because... I have uh, a lot of respect for my subscribers and fellow YouTubers. They actually use their mind. They reason with logic and common sense and sensibility. Okay? I'm not, you know, asking family members and co-workers because obviously most of them are going to be biased. Correct? And that's exactly what she's doing going on Facebook, talking to the old ladies at work, and just trashing me. People that don't even know me. But my question that I want to pose is, uh, how much discretion do I have to give to the other party about somebody I'm seeing? How much should be enough? For the other person to feel comfortable with your children going with, you know, your ex and hanging out with somebody new. Um, the girl I'm seeing told me that I could give her her number if she had any questions. She could speak to her uh, about anything she wants to know. She has nothing to hide. Okay. Except for, you know, obviously, you don't want to let someone know where you work that you don't know. And on top of that, she has three jobs. Wouldn't you think that if your ex was seeing somebody that had three jobs to make ends meet, to take care of their children, that they more than likely are responsible I would like to think so, but not her. And a little side note, on top of every fucking thing else, okay, just a little cherry on top. 
a couple years ago, she had an affair on me. An affair with a guy that's a drunk, has lots of DUIs, beat on her, and all this kind of shit. Well, until recently, a month has gone by that she was seeing this guy again, and she didn't even fucking tell me. Don't you think that would ha I should have reasonable concern that if he would put his hands on her, that if he got drunk enough, that he would possibly put his hands on my children? And she wants to turn around and say, you know, shit she's saying and do the things she's doing, hurting our kids for her own gain. You know, it's fucked up. But like I said, I'm going to you guys. I want to know what you guys think. Am I fucking stupid? Am I just wrong? I don't think so. But there's no reason for you guys to, you know, lie on my behalf or try to make me look good. So, uh, fuck it. You know, let me know.